To use Multism, first you have to download Multism. So to use Multism, you will need Citrix, which you can download at eic.fiu.edu. And then it'll take you here. Just go down. And then if you have a Mac, so there's for Mac or iOS, and then there's for Windows, so choose whatever. And then it'll take you to, through the steps and just log in once you finish and then just click log on. And then after that, this will show, that's me. This is loading. And then just um, go here to the plus sign, click all apps and scroll down until you see Multism. It's uh, around the M stuff. And then once you click it, it'll have a link uh, through which you can open Citrix. And then Citrix is already installed for me. So all you need to do is wait. Uh, <clears throat> cool. So click it a bunch of times until it works. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it won't work first try. So just try it a lot and it starts after a couple of tries. Permit use. Always just click on everything, doesn't matter if it says it's a virus, just click yes and it'll open it. And that's how you can use Citrix and download it successfully. Now we're gonna use Multism. I'll have it opened right here, and this is what you're basically gonna be looking at for starters. The first thing we can look at is uh, these tabs right here. Any of them is fine, just click one and a bigger menu will pop up. We have all groups, right? But we want specifically sources, for example, power sources. So this is the sources we're gonna be using, DC power, which is where the voltage is gonna come from. Once you click okay, just leave it somewhere and you can keep putting stuff uh, the D ground, this is the regular one that you will usually, usually use. And here are some other ones, uh, but none of them that you will be using in the class. There's the basic ones, which are the resistors, the capacitors, and the inductors. You will mostly use resistors, of course. You put here the value, or right here, you type it in and it uh, will show up and you just click OK and drag it. Also, when we're here, you can still drag stuff by itself, even uh, the name, Control-Z is your friend, and uh, you can name something or change it right here again. Forget the noise. And well, to connect it, you just click on one side, drag to the next. It'll make, you can click again, to change the direction, but it'll make it red. And you can have a whole circuit right here. Boom. And that's our circuit. Now these sides matter. Uh, when we use a multimeter right here in the corner, you'll see it pop up. And then same thing, you drag, boom. And the same thing in real life. If you flip this, It'll give you a different number. You double click, it shows you, and then you click play right here, and then it'll show you 12 volts is going through this. And you can switch it from volts to amps, which, whatever you want to measure. But if we double check, uh, you can right click. Oh, you have to stop everything. So you can right click, delete, let's control C. Uh, you can right click and then rotate clockwise for if it makes it better for you or horizontally, uh, but essentially this does nothing. There are several other functions over here that you could use, 
like the multi, multi, like the function generator, the watt meter, and all of the other ones. The main one is the multimeter though. The op amps, first we go to all groups and you will see this, uh, but we can scatter through analog and then these two are the same thing here. You have all of these that you're not gonna use. The one that we will work with is this one right here. To test what I've just said, we're gonna just give it a try. One side to one side, one side to the other. And when we run it, we find the negative number because it's backwards. So the order is relevant. Even the amps are negative. Other way to place anything, right click, place component, and it'll go through the last thing you select it. Now we're gonna look for another resistor. We're gonna delete this and we're gonna put a simple resistor of 10K. Click OK. That's it. Now we're gonna drag this here and we're gonna add another one. We're gonna have a parallel circuit right here. If you want to delete only one, you click it after stopping it. You click the individual wire, right click, delete. Let's say we want to measure just this. Let's run it and we can still click everything. If you get a message error like this, then you're probably just missing a small detail called the ground. So just go to source, sources, go to sources, and then hit this ground, and just place it right here. And boom, you, we can connect it, if you missed it by a little bit like I did, and it works. Nothing saying that is wrong, so we're Gucci. So we're good. From here, you can still move stuff around but it will look a little messy so be sure to be organized uh, we can change the volts right here the value of the volts and i mean you cannot change it while it's running so do not be like me and just have patience even when it's placed we can also flip horizontally flip vertically and it'll just do that but it knows that the sides matter so it does this little loop that we can see right here because it wants to keep its original position because it knows that otherwise it'll change the dynamics of the circuit feature that this has uh, if you're still in old groups in this list and you scroll down you'll go to my deck and you press it you can have just the you basically have the my deck right here so you can simulate the my deck right here if you don't have one yet or if you just want to do exactly what you're doing physically in the computer to double check on your numbers uh, then you can and you just start connecting everything that you would normally connect physically and it's also a good way to practice and in case you don't know exactly where to put stuff or you want to make a diagram here and make it look a lot better and you can organize yourself here and then do it physically that's another good way and then it works exactly the same as the my deck so that's basically all you need to know to get started there's a lot more stuff that you won't need for this class and that's uh that's the basics so for now you should be able to do whatever you want in the class uh thumbs up